Hey crew, just going to jump in on this phone so I can see the, the live chat. Just give it a second to see if we've um, we get a few jump in. Uh, pretty much what I'm doing is um, I've got a new um, smart Wi-Fi modem, so I'm going to see. Hopefully, it makes the reception in the shed a little bit better. Hey, Tampa boys, how you going? Scott Shed, how you going? Thanks for dropping in. Um, yeah, I'm just testing a new um, smart Wi-Fi modem that I'm got. That I um, got. Um, I'm hoping that it boosts the the str signal strength in the shed a little bit. Um, because the house is made out of solid block, it tends to um, hinder the signal a bit. So, um, and then when I shut the roller door in like winter, or if the afternoon sun's coming in, if I shut that roller door, it blocks the signal again. So. Um, today is basically just a bit of a hangout. Um, we'll go from here out onto the, um, the back deck and then I'll head into the shed and we'll just see how the signal goes for buffering and stuff like that. So, yeah. So just, um, just type in the chat. If you see that it's um, buffering or pixelating, just um, just put a comment in there, uh, what it's doing, so I'll get a feel for, for what I can and can't do with the, um, with the live streaming. Cheers, TBC. Um, yeah, so this is actually like the, the phone's about uh, just over a metre or a yard or whatever. Um, Four foot, five foot from the um, from the modem here, so I would hope that the signal is pretty good. Um, so we'll just see what happens with it as we move um, move further away from it, and yeah, see how we go. Yo, Rasta BTV, Rasta, it has been a long hot minute since I've seen you. I hope you're doing well. I've seen you um, in a few live chats here and there. Um, but a lot of the time when you guys are live, I'm at work, so I'm sort of in and out um, just to say good day. But I have seen you in some of the lives um, here and there, Rasta, so thanks for dropping in, brother. Cool, cool. So we might, um, we might move out onto the back deck here. I'll show you, um, show you the setup that I've got here for my... Um, for my workouts and that, for a bit of um, strength and um, uh, flexibility training and stuff like that. We'll have a look. Um, we'll shoot out there. Yo, Choppers, how you going, bro? Good to see you, mate. Hope everything's going well up in Townsville. So let's scoot out here. So this is the back deck. That's the... Um, that's the uh, weights bench, or not weights bench, but home gym there. We've got the um, the bike there. A little bit of a um, little bit of free weights here, and my um, balance board, and um, yeah, my little um, forearm strength builder there. Hey Sam, how you going, bro? So I'll just put you over here. Scoot around. Cheers, Sam. Yeah, love it here, mate. This is the. Um, I'll show you guys the view from the um, from the back deck here. So this is my um, this is my piece of paradise here. I don't know whether you can see the horses down there. 
But yeah, the property goes right down to that tree line um, down the back there. So yeah, she's pretty awesome. Love it out here on five acres. So pretty cool. So. Yeah, Sam, I've got, um, if you have a look through my, <laughs> through my videos, um, oh, you've probably seen it anyway, I've got the um, Enduro cross track down the bottom. So, I do have a pallet jump down there, I've got logs, I've got tyres. Um, yeah, if you search through my channel, um, yeah, have a look at um, Backyard Enduro cross track, you'll see, um, you'll see what I've got built down the bottom there. Yeah, give us a yell, choppers, if you're down this way, mate. Hopefully we can catch up for a buddy coffee or a beer or whatever. That'd be awesome, man. So, you see all these things hanging up here? These are all, um, these are all resistance bands. So, um, off-road performance coach, um, yeah, Ben Greenwood, um, he put me onto these for, um, you can use them for conditioning and especially for stretching. I've found them really, really good um, for stretching. Can you guys, can you hear me all right from, from there? So I'm about two meters away from the phone, so, yeah. Yeah, Sam, I don't know whether you've seen, mate, I did, did jump into your live there today um, when you, you <laughs> just before you jumped onto that big log and walked down to the um, to the water there. I was um, I was in there for a bit, but your missus had the phone. Um, so yeah, I watched up until you jumped back on the bike and and took off. So yeah, I was in there to show some love for you today, bro. Sweet. Yeah. So these um. These resistance bands, um, they come in different colours for different um, different resistance. So you got the big thick black one there. Um, that one's your, your high resistance. You've got the red one, which is your medium, uh, and then you've got your grey, which is your um, your lighter. So currently, I've been working with the with the red one. So. I, So I'll just show you, um, this is one of the exercises that I've found really, really good for, um, for opening up the chest. This was one that um, Off-Road Performance Coach put me onto. So basically, you hold the band, stretch it out, full stretch, then go up and over, and then basically you're taking it behind you, and you're letting the band basically pull your arm backwards to open out your, your chest. So this exercise here really pulls in this part of the chest here. And yeah, I've found over the time of doing it, um, my flexibility and, and the, um, the range in the chest has really, really opened up. So this one here, um, you can feel it when it gets further back to you can feel it go into your biceps and stretch your biceps so really really um, good exercise that one you can also um, use it for, for stretching and a bit of um, muscle tension um, so there's a few few different ones that you can do for that for exercise and also put it around in front and use it that way so, yeah, there's many, 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 many different um, things that you can use these for. You put it on the ground and you can use it for a bit of, bit of resistance um, for doing your curls and stuff. So, that one's not a lot of resistance for a curl. get onto the likes of this big one. So basically put your foot through it to hold it to the ground. And then where do you want to grip it 
through like that or you can just actually grip it like that. I find that gripping it in your hand like that just gives a better, better feel. It doesn't cut into your hand as much. So then basically you can do a curl. So really good if you don't have weights. Um, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. So you've also, also got these guys. Um, yeah, they come in the same colours, but yeah, there's um, nowhere near as much resistance from them because they're, they're basically paper thin. But they are still good. You still can tension them up. Uh, you can do different things with them. You can still, still do that exercise with them and it does create tension uh, to pull your arms back. So, yeah, you can get them from most of your department stores or your, um, or your sports stores. They <laughs> can hit you in the face, Sam. I, I've tried very, very hard not to do that, and so far I've been successful not to hit myself with them. Yeah, Sam, um, definitely got to stay in shape, mate. I'm stepping it up a notch this level and really getting into the fitness and endurance and strength. Um, yeah, I noticed a little bit that I did towards the end of last year before my five-hour enduro that I did um, up north. That little bit that I did made the world a difference of stretching, um, a bit of exercise and stuff. So, uh, and obviously getting serious about doing on-bike training. So. Yeah, this year I'm getting in early. I basically started training um, straight after Christmas last year. Um, so yeah, I really, really want to do as best I can this year. Obviously, I've got Focus X gear um, on board. They um, they sponsored me, um, helped me out with the race gear, the pants and jersey and gloves. Um, yeah, so probably get some fresh threads off them uh, next year or this year sorry we're already this yeah this year um, I'll probably wait until just before winter and get some woody and stuff and beanie and bits and pieces as well so yeah <clears throat> yeah Sam there was some um, some pretty cool crashes in that um, in that last bit I'm glad old mate, um, that bloke that went over that big log and went over the handlebars and the bike nearly landed on him. He actually just happened to be where we pulled up to go for a ride that day. Um, and he asked if it was all right if he could tag along. I tell you, the dude could ride. Um, he was on a KDM, I think a 2017 uh, KDM 350. And um, yeah, that dude could ride. Um, he was the only one that day out of all of us that actually hit that big log. The others, um, we'd gone around it and he was behind and um, yeah, he decided to hit it. Uh, he nearly pulled it off. Um, but yeah, he said to us that he had done that log previously. That's because that's why he didn't sort of hesitate uh, to hit it because he'd already done it before. So yeah, yeah, he did fall hard and he's lucky that that bike didn't um, land on top of him he's um so lucky that he sort of fell and turned and he actually managed to push it away a little bit with his foot so yeah uh bikes in the shed sam we might um actually i'll just show you guys one more thing um i'm not sure if you saw it uh, one of my previous videos um so a couple of little homemade homemade jigs here um so we've got the forearm um, forearm strength exerciser here made with a bit of dowel, a bit of rope and a uh, milk bottle. So this one here is pretty much for building um, strength and grip in your hands. Uh, so this, this um, dowel is actually the exact same width as the handlebars on my bike. So pretty much what you do with this one is you grip it, hold it and then basically we're rolling with our hands, sort of our wrists. You roll that 
to the top and then hold it and then we're rolling it back down. It doesn't look like much but oh, it makes her forearms burn. So yeah, for any of you that are keen to build a bit of, bit of grip strength in your hand and um, work on building those forearms for conditioning that, that's a good little um, homemade. Pretty much cost you nothing if you've got a spare broom handle, a bit of, bit of rope and a bottle that you're finished with. So the other one's this fella here. Yeah, so this guy here, this is a um, pool noodle with a bit of, um, bit of rake handle shoved up in here to make it a bit harder. Um, this is a bit of hardwood decking. So this decking board is the same width from outside of peg to outside of peg on the motorbike. Once again, just to simulate, um, simulate bike scenario, I suppose. So this one here, have a look in the see if that's in the frame yeah so that's just in the frame I'll give it a crack in the thongs normally normally you're better off with um, joggers with this one but pretty much what you're doing here is this one is to work on your work on a bit of core and also balance I, like I said, with this board being the width of the, the handlebars, uh, oh, the handlebars, the width of the, um, the pegs on the bike, it's the same as if you were standing on the pegs on your bike, so you get it to the point where you're, you're really balanced. You really, really help with static balance and balance while you're riding, so... Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Another little cheap, um, cheap tool, that one. <laughs> cool. Anyway, let's cruise out into the shed. See what this signal does out here. Uh, there's a mighty 2017 450XC and we got the um, 2006 450XC converted to supermoto so yeah, there she is Sam so I'll just set this up here for a sec so this is right at the entrance of the garage um, with the door open Yeah, thanks Tampa TBC there. Um, yeah, I love my bikes. I've actually um, I've just actually put this one up for sale the, the old 2006 450 um, yeah, I've got to, um, got to get some cash back in the bank, we had a few things going on and, um, yeah, pretty much maxed out the credit card and, um, a few unfortunate things, but life comes, um, hits you sometimes and you just got to do what you got to do, so, yeah, that one's up for sale, uh, for anybody close by here in Australia, if you know anybody, um, after a 2006 450XC with supermoto set up plus dirt wheels, um, bark busters as well. Um, yeah, hit me up because yeah, she's up for grabs. All right, so I'm going to shut this roller door now and just see what that does to the signal. see on the phone here already it started started buffering already uh, just open this side door up here and just see 
open that up. All right, so that's Oh, it was only buffering for me, so it didn't look like it. All right, did that buffer for you guys? So it buffered on my phone, but it might have been just switching, um, could have been just switching from 4G to 5G on the phone that I'm watching on. Just let me know in the comments if that um, buffered for you guys at all. Hey Kato, how are you Jimmy B? Thanks for dropping in. Okay, so you had a little bit of buffer there. TBC, yeah. Cool, cool. Alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put the phone up this end, which is a little bit further away again from the modem. We'll just see what that does. Um, put it up here and point it back this other way. seems to be working all right with um without buffering so um yeah it looks like that new motor might be the goods it looks like um working um working well working well so, yeah here you go boys i'll give you another look at the um look at the bikes so that's the 450 XC Supermoto with the um, SM Pro Platinum uh, rims with the Han hubs. So the rear is um, oh no. so the rear is um, Cush Drive. It's just got the standard size um, brake motor on the front. It hasn't got the um, I think the oversize is. Um, is 300 mil. You reckon I should take it outside, Sam? Do some wheelies. I'll take it off. Open this back up so we know that all works all right. See if it'll start up with the um, with the electric. Otherwise, we'll have to give it a little bit of a kick.
so I gotta switch it back to reserve. <laughs> yeah, flip flops, boys. Let's have a look at the 2017. This old girl doesn't sound too bad either for um, the stock, stock exhaust and that. charge a battery up on that one. Sorry about that boys. We'll take the seat off and um take the seat off and charge the battery up. Um, cost us a small fortune um, to get the big fella um, sorted. So yeah, we should just got to do what you got to do, mate, to look after our dog for our family. So um, yeah, maxed out credit card, um, dug into the home loan. So I got to sell some stuff um, to get some money back in, pay some bills. Um, also up for sale, any of you here close by in Australia, Queensland, um, the Supercharged VYS Cosmos Purple, uh, that one's up for sale as well. Um, so both are unregistered. Um, the Supermoto, um, Supermoto is still currently registered, uh, but selling unregistered. Um, the VY Supercharged S, um, it's been off the road for a bit over a year now, so it's obviously being sold unregoed as well. So, yeah, just got to do what you got to do, hey. Yeah, uh, speak of the devil, here's the man of the moment. Here's the man of the moment. Hey, big fella. Yeah, this is Archer. This is my big boy, my... Come here, bud. So you can see his, um, his belly's all shaved from the operation that he had. Um, come here, mate. Come here. Sit. 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 Good boy. 
Yeah, so this is my big lad. He's bloody all shaved at the front legs here from where he's had all these drip and everything and that. But he's on the men. He's doing doing well. So got to look after you, bud, eh? Hmm? Got to do what we got to do, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sam, mate, I don't expect other people to um to pay for stuff for me, you know. Um, yeah, I, we chose to have the animals, it's our responsibility, so um, um do what we gotta do, mate, to look after family, hey. He definitely will eat a kangaroo, mate, I'll give you the tip. <laughs> uh anyhow. So I might um, grab a socket and that while we're here, while you guys are hanging out, I'll um, take that seat out and get that um, get that battery on charge. The good thing about these lithium um, lithium batteries on these, they um, they charge up really quick. This battery goes from basically um, dead flat to um, charged in 45 minutes so thanks for dropping in Tampa boys enjoy dinner um, appreciate your support uh, keep up the great vids can't wait to see that uh, race and go-kart ripping appreciate you coming in take care So yeah, Kato, Jimmy Bling, thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. Yeah, pizza sounds good, Sam. I wouldn't mind some pizza. Uh, a few Hondas going past out there. I think somebody asked me back there if I go riding every weekend, Sam. Um, Sam, I don't go riding every week, man. I um, I only get every second weekend off. Um, and the boys that I ride with, um, they work away for a week, so I pretty much between work and um, and fitting in with their rides. I normally, on average, I ride every second week. Um, but once racing starts, um, I reckon I'll be um, reckon I'll be riding every every week between training and racing, um, definitely. But at the moment, yeah, once a once a fortnight, pretty much. See if this little smart charger works, otherwise I'll have to put the um put the big fella. This one normally doesn't work when the battery's dead flat, but we'll give it a crack. Give him a crack. Put the other one on it. The other one's not digital and doesn't rely on um, doesn't rely on feedback to get it to work.
set a reminder for 45 minutes because you can't overcharge these because um, that's not a smart charger. Yeah, to make sure you don't overcharge the lithiums. Yo, Dorito, how you going, bro? Yeah, well, it's, um, it's summer over here, as you can see. Um, yeah, summertime. So, I mean, I ride all year round. I ride through the extreme heat of um, summer. We can get up over to 42, over 42 degrees Celsius. Um, so, I'm not sure. I'll just, I'll check with Google, see what, um, okay, Google. Uh, not going to work on this one. But yeah, anyway, you guys can work it out. And normally, up around, you know, it can be 40 degree heat sometimes where we're riding. Um, also, I've ridden in the, in the dead of winter. Um, we normally get down to about sort of minus one, minus two in some places. But that's at the very start of the day. And it normally warms up to, you know, probably 12 degrees Celsius or so for the day. So... Yes. <clears throat> what else is new, crew? What else is new? Always forget to share my live streams on um, social media. Uh, I'll just give this a quick share, see if we get any other extras in. Um, <clears throat> Thanks for the share too, Tampa Boys Custom. Appreciate the share. I just saw it on here that you guys shared it out. We'll share it out on making tracks and then I'll jump back into the into the chat. Oh, shit, Sam. Now I heard you you said on your live, Sam, that you were still plucking fangs out of um out of your, when you're on your way to do that other live stream that I popped into. For a couple of minutes, we'll see if anybody jumps in from um, from Facebook at all. If not, um, probably would have been being done. It doesn't actually say. Um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, it was basically just a test to see um, how things work with the um, with the new Wi-Fi modem. So it seems like. Um, it's all pretty good that I can have the phone back there, this door open and the signal doesn't seem to buffer at all, so all is cool. All is cool. Battery charged up anyway, and um, yeah, 
Yeah, that'd be awesome, Sam, getting on that bloody GSXR 600 ripping. That'd be bloody fun. Cool, cool. So I'm pretty stoked with that. This um, signal seems to be really good in here. I've got um, I got this phone here running on 1080p, so HD, and the picture on here is crystal clear, no pixelation, no buffering. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked about that. Yeah, bike life is awesome, Sam. Bike life is awesome, mate. So good for the body and the soul and the mind. Can you guys see how long... Oh, actually, I should be able to see on the phone here how long this has been going for. Whoa, 42 minutes. Woo! 42 minutes, so... I'll give it a little bit longer to see um, see if anybody else jumps in. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled, Dorito, for your stuff, mate. Um, yeah, those buggy races and that with the band members was pretty wild, eh? Some of that stuff was out of control. crew well, it looks like it's probably going to be it um i might wind it up there that's going to be about 45 minutes so um yeah pretty stoked with how um how the signal on that's gone um yeah thanks for everyone for um jumping on showing support hanging out um yeah really really appreciate it look after yourselves have fun do what you love doing live life Take it easy, crew, eh? We'll catch you next time.